Oh, look, I mean, Virat Kohli is a terrific leader of men, but any time you can have the experience of an MS Tony to help Virat when the pressure's on, it's very easy to captain a side when things are going well, but when it's tough, you need those experienced guys in your side like an MS Tony that's got some thoughts that might you might not have thought of as a captain. Um, so to me, MS Tony's a, a great player, a great a must-have player in your side. He can bat anywhere from four, five, six, seven, whatever the team needs. He's versatile, he's adaptable, and anyone criticising MS Dhoni has absolutely no idea what they're talking about. This guy is a class act. India need him in the World Cup. Uh, they need his experience, they need his leadership skills on the field to help Virat Kohli as well. Um, I still think there's room for Rishar Pant. I think Pant can play as a batsman and MS Dhoni is the captain. Uh, I'm very surprised India haven't picked Rishar Pant. So, yeah, I, I, for me, MS Dhoni is a huge tick and a must have in your side. How do you see uh, the upcoming World Cup, especially keeping in mind the performance of Australia last time and Indian Indian performance at this time? Which team do you think is going to Australia and what is going to? Well, I, I think the World Cup, you know, it's very, very close. I think India and England must go in as favourites to the tournament because of the cricket they've played over the last six to 12 months. Um, but I've been saying for the last month or so that I think Australia is starting to develop that belief where they can win from anywhere again. Teams are just starting to fear Australia again. They saw what they did the other night. And, you know, is David Warner and Steve Smith still to come back into that side? Darcy Short to come into that side? In that, in combination with Marcus Stoinis, Aaron Finch, Glenn Maxwell, then the bowlers, Cummins, Stark, etc. It's a very good side. Big players that love the big stage. X-Factor players. Um, and, and players that the opposition worry about and fear. Um, so to me, Australia, I believe Australia will win the World Cup. So I think they're peaking at the right time. But I think India and England go in as favourites and they're going to be very tough to beat.